So we'll do this one, right guys? I don't do a drawing. I, I just don't. I, I, I don't want to be limited right away by some drawing, some line that says fill me in. I paint a shape and then I look at the shape and I, I, I pick a color. So I, I pick a color and then I look at that color and I go, oh, oh, what, what, how, what, what's the darkness of that color? When I look at the pictures here, I'm not looking at a hat. It's kind of egg shaped. And that's what I paint. I, I don't paint hats, I paint shapes. And most of you probably know that. That shape has a color, that color has a darkness. Just call and focus on S, C, V. So you're juggling three balls, you're juggling the shape, the hat in this case is an egg, and you're juggling what color is it, and then you're juggling what is the value. Just those three things. That's a shape. Everything is shape, that's a jelly bean. It's just like being back in grade school. It's best to paint so you don't see the color. You just see the value. The window is a dark value, so I'm picking up a dark color. If it's a light value in, the, in, this, in this guy, I'm going to pick a light color. It doesn't matter if it's yellow, it's green, blue, orange, as long as it's a light yellow, green, blue, or orange. I hold the brush on the end because I lose to some degree some control. I want to create brush strokes that have energy in them because I want my painting to have energy. I'm still looking for shapes. You know, I'm looking at this as a, as a long kind of Coca-Cola bottle shape. And let's get some stripes in there, just throw some in there. Turn the brush, because the other side of the brush has paint on it too. I'm going to take a look at it and see what's, what's off. And the bodice is too long. These are small adjustments.